Drug and alcohol abuse can ruin lives. Not only are these addictions difficult to overcome, they're often associated with mental illness. The professionals that people turn to for help are mental health and substance abuse social workers. Care usually begins with counseling. Therapy can be on an individual basis or in groups. Social workers confer with other professionals to evaluate the mental or physical condition of a client. People with mental illness or substance abuse problems often find themselves isolated from the rest of society. Workers help them to re-enter their communities as healthy, stable individuals. The services they provide may include outreach, crisis intervention, social rehabilitation, and training in the skills of everyday living. This takes critical thinking and problem-solving skills. You must be patient, a good listener, and a good communicator. The job can be mentally and emotionally taxing. Understaffing and large caseloads can add to the pressure. And it can be dangerous. Clients may come from or be treated in difficult or dangerous social and physical environments. Hi, this is Lola calling from Mount Sinai Hospital. I wanted to refer a child for individual counseling. Yes, yeah, she's witnessed domestic violence. Most work is in hospitals, substance abuse treatment centers, individual or family service agencies, or for the government. A bachelor's degree in social work is the minimum requirement. Many social workers also have a master's degree. A surprising number of people struggle with addiction or mental health problems. For many, it would be a losing struggle if not for the guidance they get from mental health and substance abuse social workers.